It doesn't look like much yet, but in a little more than a year, this dirt will be filled with a 14-story tower with 100 full suites in a conference room. It will be called Homewood by Hilton. And marketing and sales director Nancy Lee says with interest rates being so low, what better a time to build? The economy is on an upswing, and so we want to be the first ones to step out and take advantage of that. Homewood Suites is going up right next to the Hampton Inn, both owned by the same company. Lee says last year Hampton Inn was forced to turn away 27,000 room nights because they were at full capacity. So we know that the demand is in the market. Tony Politis owns the Spring Garden Pancake House across the street. And I'm thinking about bringing a lot of people here, and uh, it will be good for the business. Politis says he may even hire more employees, giving him more reason to smile these days. City spokesman Mark Krua says this development, along with the last three tourist seasons, are all hopeful signs of an improving economy. Our, our tourism economy has bounced back much more quickly than the other segments of the economy. But Krua says it might still be too early to tell if this is the start of another hotel building boom. Back in the in mid to late 2000s, we had seven, eight, nine, ten tower cranes working along the beach at one time. I'm not sure that we're back to that point yet. But this rubble may just be the start. In Myrtle Beach, Mark Liverman, WPDE, News Channel 15.